On today's episode, I'm embarking on a $52 luxury bus journey from Singapore to Malaysia. I'm going to share every detail of the experience from the food to the comfort to the unexpected confusion. Stay tuned until the end of the video to see which method of transportation I recommend. This is a battle of bus versus plane and our adventure begins right now. Good morning, everybody from Singapore. I hope you're feeling good, feeling great. My name is Brent Tim, and I am about to embark on a five hour super mega luxury journey all the way from right here in Singapore to Malaysia. I'm taking what's supposed to be like one of the nicest, most luxurious buses on earth. Cannot wait, but it's super early right now, and we're kind of off to a rocky start. The Grab driver, which is like their version of Uber here in Singapore, dropped me off where he thought the bus was supposed to pick me up. I'm supposed to go to the Lavender MRT station, which is where I'm at, but everyone's kind of confused. But the nice people at the hotel told me I need to walk all the way down here and then take a left, and that's apparently where the bus is gonna pick me up. It's actually quite confusing. I'm a little concerned because my taxi driver and a guy in the street just said that the actual pickup is like 30 minutes away, but I'm like, no, 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 it's Lavender MRT, which is where the ticket is for. Apparently, the bus stops at a few different other stops, but I picked the Lavender MRT one, and uh, man, hopefully this is where it comes. So this is where I'm supposed to be, Lavender Station, exit B. There goes another bus, I think that's just a, a typical bus. We've got all these other buses lining up here. I was told to be here 30 minutes before the bus leaves. I don't see it, guys. Okay, good news. I've always depended on the kindness of strangers. I found some lovely ladies here from India. They are taking the same bus to Kuala Lumpur. And, and hello, my friend over there. And uh, apparently, we are at the right location. Oh, and there's like the Transtar bus right there. Maybe that's it. Is that it? Uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, that's it. Okay, here we go. Namaste. Thank you so much. Pull. We're locked in. Sorry, no time for Mickey D's. I'm ready to get on this thing, y'all, because I'm, I'm tired. I booked this luxury bus, number one, because I wanted the experience, but number two, because shh, I wanna sleep, I wanna crash out, I wanna get these five hours of sleep, you dig? All right, here we go. It's a double-decker. I think I booked the top. Uh, hello, my friend. How are you? Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Seat number 12. Seat number 12. And, uh, which company? Transstar Travel. Transstar Travel. Okay, so apparently this is not my bus. I was not uh, on the list. I should mention that I booked this ticket through an app called EasyBook. It was the worst app in the world. It denied my credit card. I spent three hours trying to book this ticket. It charged my card like six times and then refunded me three times. And then I never got a single si uh, ticket confirmation. I ended up having to use PayPal to book the ticket. Um, but to be fair, I do recall that Solitaire Suites was another option. I didn't book that one but it actually looks pretty nice. And these nice people from India over here, they actually got a, a text message telling them where to go. I didn't get any of that. Ah, aha, a new challenger has arrived. The Transstar Cross Border. That sure as heck doesn't look like my bus either, but let's go chat this guy up. Hello, my friend. Is is this the Transstar going to uh, Kuala Lumpur? Uh, yeah, your bus number. I booked the Transfer Travel Private uh, yeah, Limited. Yeah, you this one. That's me, yes. Uh, yo. Yes, that's ah, me. Okay, sit on up, this bus? Sit up, please. Okay, I'll grab my bags. All right, so I guess I'm hopping on that one, but I want to go on that one. Okay, this thing looks just like some regular old bus. Now I'm even more confused, but maybe that thing's going to transfer us to, hopefully it's going to transfer us to the right bus. All right, we're still on the bus before the bus, the pre-bus, and there's someone walking up and down now. I think they're trying to check our Malaysia digital arrival card, which is definitely something you got to get uh, if you're going from Singapore to Malaysia. I've been on the bus about 20 minutes now. Very excited to get on the real bus. This one's, this one's not too bad. I, hello, yes, I, I have the, the card. Okay, okay. Thank Boom. you. Okay, yo, look at this. Oh my God, that bus, the pre-bus, it was so cold on there, the lens fogged up as soon as I walked outside. Okay, I don't know what's going on because all my luggage is on that bus where they're ushering us. It's still all foggy. Anyways, I guess we're being shoveled inside to like actually give them our passport information and stuff. That uh, that free bus ride was an hour long. Did not expect that. So now I'm really curious if the five hour total journey includes that one hour bus ride or what? But okay, oh, well, looks like we got some passport. I'm swiping to do here. Access granted. We must be at the Malaysian border, I guess. 
No idea what's going on here. Oh, looks like we got some more checkpoints. All right, immigration was a breeze, and yeah, I had to throw on that extra layer. And then we got back on the not-so-luxury bus. We are now in Malaysia, grabbing our bags, and I assume we're gonna go here and scan our tickets and get on the real bus. So now the real adventure, the real episode, the real reason you tuned into the video, I can begin, but hopefully some of y'all watching this video, now you'll know what it actually takes and entails to get to the luxury bus. This is the part where I should mention that a flight, this the cost of this ticket was 70 Singaporean dollars, which is about $55 USD. But if you were to fly from Singapore to Malaysia, the flight was just about $50 as well. But, you know, going through all the hassle of the airport and everything, I'm gonna take the bus too, because I feel like this is gonna be a lot more comfortable than any plane is gonna be. Uh, even though this is definitely going to be a lot longer than the plane ride. I think the plane ride was like less than an hour. More confusion because we got that Transtar Solitaire Suites bus, we got that Transtar Solitaire Suites bus, and those are the nice Indian people we met earlier, but I don't think those are the people I'm going with. More confusion. It seems like everybody on the bus got a WhatsApp message saying that the bus was like changed or something, but I didn't get it because I had to use an account that wasn't attached to my WhatsApp. No one told me I'd be getting the information through the WhatsApp. Oh, I've been told we're gonna they're gonna eat some like good food on this bus, but y'all, I'm like hungry and thirsty right now, resisting the urge to go in there. And just kind of confused. No real direction uh, or anything here. No one to tell us where to go. We're all just looking at each other like sheep. Like, what do we do? Well, I guess this is it. Hello, Transstar Travel, 19 seats with suites, personal entertainment, coach attendant with food and beverage service, seat belts, audio video on demand, cocoon seat. Well, that sounds dope. Wi Fi and GPS. It's time to board. Okay, a 12 up. I think I, I think I picked the upper deck. Thank you, sir. <laughs> All right, here we go. Wow, this bus smells so fresh. This is like the best smelling bus ever. Smells like somebody busted a perfume bomb all over here. Okay, and here we go. Man, Lux life indeed. All right, let's find our way here to seat number 12. Oh yeah, here we go. Boom, and this is it. Okay, we got that water waiting for me right there. What is going on? Oh, we got a television? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I wonder if I can watch my YouTube videos on here. Let's see, looks like we uh, have our bag right here. Oof. Well, seat test. Okay. Oh yeah, max comfy levels. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's comfy. Yeah, it's uh, kind of like nice and leathery. A lot of padding in it. Yeah, this is definitely not the nicest bus I've ever been on. Definitely one one of the nicest. Let's see what we're working with here, though. We got USB port. What is all this? Auto, full, stop, and off. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Yo, the chairs are massa massage chairs. We're car chairs. They are massaging my back. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm feeling it on my back right now. What else does this do? Is that I want full. Ooh. Okay, now it's like. Whereas it was like a constant vibration before. Oh yeah, that's what's up. Auto full. Oh my god. I'm gonna sleep like a baby. I've never been on a bus with a massage chair in my life. I didn't even know that that existed. What? Oh, and the bus has seat belts. I never see that on buses. Okay, safety first. I appreciate that. What is this thing? Mm, maybe somewhere to rest my feet, but I'm guessing that these little controls here might do something. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's adjusting this. So it's going up so I can put my feet up a little bit. That's kind of comfy. <laughs> but uh, let's try the other button. It's not doing anything. Let's try the other button. Oh, okay. This one's pushing me forward. I don't know if I want to go forward, though. No, 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 no. We're going all the way back. <laughs> wait, wait. Maybe I can do something. Oh, I would be so bummed if if this middle middle button is broken. And then here we've got this secret compartment for, mm, I'll know what, trash, stash box, not quite sure. And then a little area down here for 
I don't know, water bottle. Oh, yes. We got the charging ports. Looks like we've got two standard USB 2.0 ports. And then we've got um, what looks to be what will handle like the US standard plug. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this is definitely the kind of seat you could take a nap in. No, no questions about it. Let's get this TV up to speed here. Let's see what this thing's capable of. Um, well, <laughs> maybe not a whole lot until the bus takes off. Maybe we got to be on the road before we can access some programming. But around those 2.4G speeds, you dig? Take a look at what we got up top here. We got a light that may or may not work until the actual bus is on. Uh, not going to press that. That's the attention. I wonder if this bus is like fully serviced because if there's food and beverage then there must be someone to bring it to you okay that's legit um and the ac oh okay the vent is closed oh it's pretty strong but nowhere near as strong as, as the pre-bus that was like the ice cream man's bus y'all that thing was like arctic polar vortex uh temperatures ah and then we've got the tray table here oh that folds out that was smooth that was a real smooth motion, y'all. Oh, wow, I really, really dig that. Um, and yeah, very, very, I'm a very hungry hippo. So I can't wait till we can put some food on this. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna kick back, relax, and wait, wait for the journey to begin. We've got an update and good news one minute into the journey, and I see that my uh, passenger here next to me, that their footrest is going up here. So I think that's actually what the middle button does. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know why that didn't activate until the, the bus turned on, but whatever. Um, did you go up maybe just a little higher? <laughs> no, maybe not. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that's about as far as it's gonna go. Now I'm gonna spend the next couple of minutes like configuring everything just right so I'm at like the perfect sleep setup and angle here. This, this thing down here, like the leg rest, kind of pointless. Doesn't seem to go out far enough. Yeah, it looks like everybody else's go the same distance as well, but no complaints, no complaints. I'm, I'm comfy. Hello, how are you? Good morning, Sam. Good morning. Thank you. Uh, hot drinks? Uh, hot drink? Hot coffee or tea? Ooh, coffee or tea. Uh, tea, please. Tea with, tea with milk? With milk? Do you want tea or sugar? Oh, do you, want plenty of do you milk? have milk? milk? Oh, okay, can I do coffee and milk? Coffee with milk. Coffee with milk, please. Okay. Changed it up. <laughs> I didn't know they had milk on board. That's a game changer. Okay, okay. yeah, but I didn't show you. Say what? Food, now. food yes. Oh, perfect. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. Excellent. Let's see what uh what we got for entertainment options here now. Enter. Yes, please. Oh, looks like we're getting exposed to some sort of ad. A 93 second ad. All right, that ad finally finished. That thing was longer than Oppenheimer, yo. Okay, we got movie, audio, itinerary, ebook. Ooh, itinerary. <laughs> Empty, okay. Uh, my man came by and gave me some uh, <laughs> Malaysian AirPods, Malaysian Beats by Dre, uh, to listen to something. Ooh, games. Let's see what we got for movies first. Latest. Oh. Okay, we got Creed. Well, I don't know about latest. That movie came out like <laughs> six, seven years ago. Uh, Captain Marvel, okay, Shazam. Oh, let's see what's going on with this game section. Oh, what? Super Mario? You gotta be kidding me. I'm trying not to talk too loudly because I realize people might want to sleep in this bus, but I also realize that the food is coming too. Wait, this is not Mario. This is, this is Super Jario. This is, this is not, what is this? Did I get bamboozled? I totally thought I was playing Mario. Oh, <laughs> it's a typical like uh, mini cell phone game where they want you to like buy stuff. Enough of that. All right, I can't front. I do love me some Angry Birds. <laughs> okay, and they put down the little. Uh, you uh, thank you so much. Okay. Wow. Okay, this actually looks fire. What's going on here? We got look to be some like shredded noodles hold up let's open this bad boy up you guys this smells bomb.com did not expect this okay i'm sure this is some like malaysian dish i don't know the name i think we've got some chicken over here and then it, it, it kind of smells like sweet and sour chicken that you would get from like the chinese restaurant down the street or something and that looks like an egg roll but perhaps this is malaysia's own twist on it but yo looks like we got a bunch of like seasoning maybe some like crispy onions in there i'm impressed so far we're gonna see if it tastes as good as it looks. Looks like we also got some 
green and red peppers in there. This is kind of a bumpy ride. I feel like I gotta eat with my face right over the food so I don't spill something uh, on these gray pants, you dig? Okay, we're just gonna go straight into like this noodle mix to start things off. I'm gonna try to get some of those. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> we're like slowing down and going forward. I got the GoPro hanging by like a thread here uh, on the window. Pow. Yeah, just like some tasty, warm, like chopped noodles. There's a little bit of egg in there. Yeah, it's got a very good, like, yeah, like Chinese flavor to it. Kind of like, almost like stir fry, almost like stir fry noodles. I dig that. Let me try a little bit of this sauce with the noodles. That's a sweet and sour sauce. Ooh, it's a little spicy too. It's not a ketchup. Okay, very, very impressed. Yeah, this is hitting the spot. Let's try what I think might be chicken. We're heading to Malaysia, and there's a lot of Muslims in Malaysia, so I'm guessing this isn't pork. Pow. Oh. Mmm. Nice. Hearty flavor. A really tender piece of meat. Oh my gosh. There's some onions in there. Good consistency to it. It's still hot and fresh. This is ten times better than any airplane food I've had. Maybe ever. This is really, really impressive, guys. We've got some breaking news. We have found a shrimp uh, inside the noodle dish. It almost reminds me of like pad thai, but, but, but not quite. It's so good. I'm just going to devour all this, guys. Did not expect to get chicken and seafood on a bus. And yo, these views, pretty immaculate. The views out here, spectacular. Gosh, these kind of remind me of like the rice fields of Vietnam, but very, very different. This is gorgeous. I'm. I don't know how long I'm gonna spend in Malaysia, but by the looks of things, I might have to spend a couple weeks here at least. Wow, let me know, Malaysian friends or travelers that have been to Malaysia, where do I need to go uh, in this big, beautiful country? Yes, all done, thank you so much, sir. Much appreciated. Oh, what the way, my man bringing the blankets. We are getting super cozy now, you gotta be kidding me. What, and there it is, the Transtar logo on it. It's a nice blanket. Some might be coming home with me as a souvenir, you dig? Dang. Wow. I guess I don't need the sweatshirt now. Wow, okay, yeah. The, this is the sign, like, you had your food, here's your blanket, go to sleep. We should actually check out the bathroom before we try to go to sleep. All right, we have stopped for a little break, thank you. And uh, apparently there's no bathroom on the bus. Unexpected. Thank God nature did not call after that spicy noodle dish and chicken and the peppers and the coffee. Oh, whew. It is a smoker out here, y'all. Although not as humid as, as Singapore, right? Because we're not as close to, we're not really on an island anymore. Oh man, these guys selling fresh fruits out here and stuff. So we got a 10 minute break. I'm gonna go use the bathroom. I'll leave you guys out here because you don't need to see any of that. But okay, I'm digging this like little snack selection here. The AK Chicken House, we got burgers. Dang, y'all. All right, the bathrooms or whatever. I'm still shocked that there's no bathroom on the bus. That it just it, it just seems like, I don't know. You think for a five hour journey, you would have a bathroom on the bus. So about two hours left in the journey now, and yeah, super, oh my God, what? With dessert? Oh, thank you, man. Whoa, what is this? We got some low on the luxury bus. I guess it only makes sense if we get luxury crackers with vitamin A, B1, B2, B6, D, calcium, and iron. Oh, a calcium cracker. They must tell that I'm getting weak out here. My bones are deteriorating. That exactly the dessert I expected, but you can't complain about free snacks. I'm kind of stuffed right now, so save those crackers for another time. Thank you so much, thank, thank you. Thank you. All right, bus journey completed. We have arrived in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia for the second time. I'm gonna grab my bag. I'm gonna give you my thoughts on if this bus was worth it and if you should take it. So it's about 1.30 in the afternoon, which means that bus ride, bus rides, uh, took about six and a half hours, which is really strange because they said it was gonna take five hours when I booked the ticket. Um, you know, based on the amount of time and money, I think it would just make a lot more sense to fly uh, to Singapore, um, or from, Mala from Singapore, um, to Malaysia like the best part of the bus ride was the food and the massage part But that certainly wasn't worth six hours I don't know if that was worth the price because you could definitely take a cheaper bus like half the cost like, like 20 25 dollars would get you a much like less luxury bus But would get you here just as fast 
And I think like, especially because it's Singapore, why don't you go to the Changi Airport, the most beautiful, incredible airport in the world, hang out there for a little bit and then take a flight. You could do that in the same time and probably less than it would take you to take the bus uh, all the way up here. So, you know, there was nothing bad about the bus ride. I'm just like, man, that took a lot of time, six and a half hours. You probably would have taken less than three hours total with transit, check-in, airport, and all that stuff um, to fly up here, so, and, and for the same price. So yeah, cool bus, kind of a novelty though. I don't think it quite lived up to the hype. I don't know what I was expecting, but I thought the seats would have been a little more comfortable with some lay flat style or something. Um, but yeah, no regrets. Had to try it out, just so you guys will know for next time uh, what you should do. So let me know in the comments below if you've taken this bus before, how you prefer to travel between Singapore uh, and Malaysia. But that's it, everybody. Uh, the Malaysia vlog starting now. I'm only here for one night. I'm rolling straight to Penang in the morning on, well, another bus. We're not gonna vlog that bus though. I don't, maybe we will. Um, but really, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found some value uh, watching it. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Always very thankful for your support. My name is Brent Tim. For my first day here in Malaysia, the second time, and I'm saying ciao for now.